Hey guys, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video. So today is the day where I'm actually going to go start my chemo treatment. I'm also going to do my PET scan today. So this has been that's been heavily delayed. But before I go there, my wife prepared me something really nice and I thought I want to share with you guys because she put a lot of time and effort in this and I have to have it. Well, I'm having a PET scan, but I'm going to have that six hours later. So let's have a look what she gave me. Mm, oh my god. I'm, ne I'm gonna miss it so much when I'm in, in the hospital. <laughs> oh, baby's crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> she wants attention. Maybe she wants some peas. Why? So, what do you. What so, did you eat, by the way, just now? Just peas? I just had peas with your gravy sauce. So, what, what gravy sauce is this? I've never um, seen this before. It's just gravy mixed in a bit of onion. Mmm, it's good. It's really good. Can I heard the media, but I know the meat will be good. Do you have a knife, please? Yeah, you can use mine. Add mine with rice. Wow, honestly, oh my gosh, looks delicious. So, I'm not, I'm gonna miss all those kind of food. You know, that's one thing. When you go, when you go to hospital, I'm sure they're gonna look after me, and then, you know they got nice stuff there. But nothing beats homemade food from your from your wife. Mm -hmm. So, guys out there, remember this is when you have your wife's cooking, your mother's cooking, cooking made from the heart. Accept it, enjoy it, and love it and appreciate it. Not everybody gets like nice opportunities. I'm gonna enjoy he it. He so very, much. very rarely has meat. Red meat, especially. I never have meat, ever. Red meat is very rare. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Season four. There we go. I don't know, I remember this area. Okay. Hey guys, just giving you guys a quick update so far of my life and what's happening at the UCLH hospital. So, um, it was a bit hard today, I'm not going to lie. This is my very first day of chemo. I've had um, three different types of chemo type drugs inserted into my body through the PIC line. And... Overall, I found it hard because I, I never had a proper breakfast. You know, I was fasting today because of the PET scan, which, by the way, went well. The PET scan itself was very tough, you know, it was cold. You know, it was about one and a half hours long. It was a one hour prep time. In other words, they had to put some sort of liquid into my system just to make sure my body is immune to the radiations. Because the, the radiation that occurs from a PET scan is really bad for your skin and it can be harmful. After that, you know, they just took off my clothes. I had to wear some kind of rope. And from that point on, I went straight into the seat, into the PET scan machine. I have to say, it was so cold in there, guys. It was freezing. I didn't enjoy it one bit. And I was quite uncomfortable because um, you you have to stay still for 30 minutes. Think of it as an MRI. Except it's a bit shorter, but then you've got the additional prep time and you're quite cold. However, the bad thing about this one is that it's more open. It's kind of like a CT scan. It's like a massive donut machine. And, but you have to say really snuggled up. If you move just like an inch, it could mess up the results. So I had to be very careful not to move at all. So one question we just got right now um, from his sister actually is, do you feel any nausea or sickness from the treatment? Well, I do get nausea sometimes actually. Um, from the chemo, sorry. So yeah. from the chemo, when I, when I took the chemo, or when they inserted into me, I, I started getting some lightheadedness. And, but not so much nausea, I say. It's just heavy, it's just really heavy lightheadedness. Like all the white walls I saw in this room, I thought they were mid green. And I, I don't know if I was mixing up my Lipton iced tea with my wife, but it looked completely different and I started getting headaches everywhere. So at least now I know that it, it was just a temporary phase. I didn't get no nausea, to be honest. I used to get nausea from my tablets, but not from the chemo. I did feel maybe a slight, maybe like 2% feel of nausea. But well, not so much, so alhamdulillah, I actually avoided that completely. They gave him five different nausea tablets. It's true, it's true. I mean, before I took you're right. I guess it's not fair to say. They gave mm. me five different nausea tablets. They said tomorrow you might feel it. Yeah. Well, I'll, feel, I'll probably feel it tomorrow then. I had five nausea, anti-nausea tablets, so that kind of, I guess that kind of makes sense why I don't actually feel it. Mm. Any other questions? That did happen, actually. Yeah, but... Um... It's just when he was laying during treatment, he was a bit um, tired, sleepy, drowsy because he didn't eat before. So while he was lying down, because of where the tumor is uh, behind his shoulder, 
um, when he's laying down flat, he gets um, he just gets pain. But that always happens at night time for him. Uh, lucky me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so then we found out actually one thing we did notice actually is because of the lack of oxygen is what's causing him the pain. And and then we bumped to a really amazing doctor today. And I'm going to say his name. I'll call him L. And he was he was a, a Christian guy. And he just gave me a nice bar of dairy milk chocolate. <laughs> and he said, he said, you know, you believe in God, right? I was like, yeah. He goes, bless you, bless you. You know, I, I, you sit here, you know, just have faith in God. God always tests the strongest people. Just like the quote, you know, God always tests his strongest soldiers with the hardest test. Just like when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested all the prophets with their great struggles. And that's exactly what it is, you know. When it comes to difficulties in life, the hardest tests are always going to be achieved from the grace patience, okay? You know, if you if you take your time and you relax, ask Allah for help, ask your creator. Thank you. 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 Feel despair, yeah? When you have a hard test, just remember this is from your creator. He's giving you a hard test because he believes, because the creator knows everything. He knows that you, knows you, you can, can handle, handle it. it. Yeah. You wouldn't have it if you can't handle it. <laughs> I think he seems tired. He needs to rest today. He is exhausted though. Ever. Yeah, so that's so far. That's uh, my update today. Um, <laughs> any other questions I was asked? Asking how do you stay so positive? I just, I thought, you know, it, for me, that's an easy answer. Staying positive just is all in the mind and, and understanding your destination and the and this goal and the journey. For me, the journey is this, going through cancer, mm -hmm. and, the de and the destination is working hard towards that reward, which could be getting better or reaching you know, a better afterlife or reaching a better job and career. But to me, that's the end. The end goal is to always work hard for this life and, and get reward for both this life and the next life. That's how. There's no reason not to stay positive for that. Because you know, the harder your test, the greater reward. To me, it's just, any negative you hear is, is, is like a double positive. And that's how I feel. I think someone did ask about work and finances. Like, how do, how do people... How do people get job? How, so, wealth how, and benefits? Yeah, if they provide it in NHS. Or I don't know, I can't remember what, the, it was something like that. There's a wealth and benefit system here, they said. you know. For, so, if you're struggling with cancer, um, there is opportunity to get supported well. yeah there's a waiting there's a waiting time for three to four weeks usually but you have to apply immediately and um, state your reason and hopefully they can support you there's also a transport system where they can take you home for for people for believers you know is there any like prayer facilities yes there is um, a prayer room for christians a prayer room for muslims and i believe a prayer room for jews i'm not too sure about the last one yeah it is, there is there was yes yeah. so and for other faiths i believe there's a multi-faith room so everyone can actually pray